welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Gemma and I'm losing weight following a calorie control diet using the NutriCheck app to track my calories. Today is the 9th of February. It is Wednesday and it's a work from home day. I'm just going to walk to school now, drop Kaylee off and then I have about 15 minutes to get some breakfast before I log on to work. Tonight I won't go into the gym but I want to um, get my 10 thousand steps in today so i will be doing something either taking the dog out or doing one of the rick challenges i'm not sure but i shall let you know so i'll show you everything that i eat today for 1400 calories well we're just on way to school and it's absolutely glorious this morning sun shining it's mild probably don't even need a coat on so i hope it's going to start improving now and start getting some warmer weather Best start working out a little bit more at gym. Get me a um, summer figure ready. <laughs> Back in from the school run, I am currently on 3,816. I won't do much more in the house, probably a thousand or so. And that's just pottering about. So I'm gonna get some breakfast now and um, I will show you when it's done. This is breakfast this morning for 279 calories and it's two wholemeal toast without butter, two fried eggs in fry light and 24 grams of ketchup. So this is dinner today, 326 calories, and I've got a whopping 60 grams of cornflakes in there. I'm gonna have 200 grams of milk and four teaspoons of candrel. Um, just really busy at work. I did plan on cooking myself something, but it's just too busy. So I'm just gonna have these, and then I'll have something cooked for my evening meal. I've got a little snack for 99 calories. Work's finished, I've just picked time Alex up and nipped to Tesco's for some little bits. Just needed cereals, wheat bigs. I've got a nasty delivery coming on Friday um, and we've decided tonight that we're going to go through to a pub now where Steve's new work is. I'm going to have tea there. I'm not sure if it's like um, you know, a group of pubs, uh, I don't know, a chain. Um, but I'm going to have a look now at menu and see what healthy options. They do do a carvery, so I could potentially get like a kid's carvery with loads of veg or something. Um, but I don't know when we were going there, I'd have probably had because even though I had cereals and it doesn't look a lot, it is quite high calories, so I would have probably had something a little lighter, but never mind. I've still got plenty left, I've just got to make some good options. This is the only night that I'll not be going to gym, hopefully, so it's a nice night for us to meet and go for tea. Um, we've had some good news today, but it's not some of the lack I can go on about on um, YouTube. But it's just um, work related and some some like investments that we've we've put into not not like life changing or anything but <laughs> but yeah so we're gonna go out have a meal and then um, I'm at gym tomorrow night I'm already on five thousand seven hundred twenty four steps so I should get to my ten thousand I may have to do a workout when I get back but I'll see. Um, and I will let you know. Well, I'm back. It was a farmhouse inns. And the calories were just shocking on everything. So I opted for a regular carvery and there was loads of veg I liked. So I had cauliflower without cheese on. I had loads of broccoli, loads of sprouts. I had half a scoop of mash. I had three new potatoes, two roast potatoes and gravy and a Yorkshire pudding. So I've tried to estimate it the best I could. And I think I definitely made the right choice. Um, compared to what was on the um, menu and then <clears throat> because obviously we've not been there for ages and we're celebrating Steve suggested having a dessert and I thought yes yeah, stuff it I'm gonna do it and then do you know what <laughs> it's got calories on the menu and I couldn't do it desserts are over a thousand calories and for me to have a carvery Pile it up with veg, keep it right low. Usually I'd have about 100 roast potatoes to have three little roast potatoes and then to go and blow it on a dessert. It just doesn't seem right, does it? And I just thought, no, I'm not. I'm just not doing it. And Alex had bought these cookies 
um, earlier. So I thought, I'm going to go home and I'm going to have one of them cookies. And yeah, I'm going to be over calorie. But it's going to be nothing, nothing in comparison to a dessert if I'd have one. So I'm really, really proud of myself. Even though I'm over calories today, like you'll see. I went out, I had a meal, I made the right choice. I made the best choices that I could. Uh, maybe I could have had no roast potatoes, could have had no mash. But do you know what? You've got, you've got, you've still got to live. Um, and we'll see how it affects weighing on Saturday. I'm not at my 10,000 steps. I'm obviously going to have one of these. I haven't worked out the calories because it's per 100 grams, so I'm going to weigh one. And I'll show you what I'm finishing on. Um, and I'll let you know I'm, how I'm going to get my steps up. I'm at 8,000, so I've got 2,000 to go. Um, so I'll prob I'm just waiting for Steve to get back because <clears throat> he's in his car. And then I'm going to, I might see if he wants to do a walking workout just to like a 2,001 or even a 1,500. Um, so yes, I will catch up with you in a bit. I have it 10,000. I had to go on to another one. So I did the eight minute standing abs <sighs> um, with Get Fit, Fit with Rig, which I really enjoyed actually. So I might do that one again. Not today. Tomorrow I've got body combat. So that'll be good. I've got no food planned tomorrow. But we'll see. Should be a good day. Not eating out anyway. So that's a good thing. Um, so I'll pop the calorie count on there. I'll also pop the nutritional information and my 10k steps but like i said i am over calories today and um we'll just see after how it affects me on saturday so thank you so much for watching bye